Hello everyone, welcome to Game Art. In this video, we're going to see a meta human creator and uh, how to create a meta human character and how to export into our Unreal project. Okay, let's begin. So, um, you just log into meta human creator. So, uh, it will take a while to load. So, we can say all things are really high quality stuff. So, I was uh, Kind of wondering like how they did this very very high quality stuff like it's exactly like a realistic some of the grooms some of the forest is uh, some characters not looking that great but um, some characters are really awesome the skin uh, is really amazing and the ways the blend shape works everything is really good and it has a LOD system for in terms of poly count and the texture also this it looks really 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 uh, realistic so yeah today we're gonna make our own characters and then we'll export it into Unreal Engine so a little load and we'll see how to create a meta human so you need to log into meta human creator and you will get the your file from um, pixel bridge from there we'll export it into Unreal Engine we'll see that pipeline all right <coughs> Excuse me. So um, here, this is a meta human uh, creator window. Um, so in the left side, you can see all the characters ready there. You can either use them or you can modify them, right? So, and uh, if you click, use, uh, press Alt and click, that's your rotation. And scroll is your zoom and uh, Alt. I mean the middle mouse button is like you can just uh, even rotate and you can uh, you know up and down the character you can move that way all right so um, what we're gonna do is like uh, we're gonna uh, edit one character you can select any of this character okay any uh, you can choose uh, any of this character uh, I anyway one character already got selected what you have to do just say next okay and then it will go to the editor window there you will have preview that's what you are seeing right now it has some kind of animation you can shake uh, how the groom work you can see that that guy is already testing the skinning in for you so that's a preview and you have a sculpting to a sculpting uh, option and you can move some stuff like ears nose something like that and blend with the different uh, you know uh, characters that's a blend Let's um, see the sculpting uh, tool. So you you'll get a lot of uh, points where you can pull and change the shape. For example, nose, you can just you know kind of adjust the nose shape how you want. Just matter of drag and drop. Uh, no matter whatever you do, it will be still look like a human being because there is a limit. So everybody can uh, you know create their own character no need to uh, learn anything 3d modeling or something like that so you can uh, select each point and you can just you know uh, create your own character using all these things all right so um, so it's pretty good and you can change stuff like that or anything um, so that that that's a sculpting thing so you can change nose or you can change whatever okay that's a sculpting so um i think you got the uh, what is a sculpting let's go to move so move is like um you can you can move some certain areas for example ears you can move it change the shape you know something like that and you can change the eye shapes you can change the eyebrows and uh, you know nose a little bit and brrr, something like this way and you can just so whatever it is um i know uh you will do a better job i'm just uh, teaching the tools so I, I know you can do better than me and just go to blend blend is really powerful tools i would say uh, you can see here this is our character miley's and you can add three characters here so what i'm gonna do i will um, take some of the character here this guy here and uh, some random maybe this guy on the top so 
so what is this will do like um, so is oi and brian and copper copper right so so if i take nose here you will get uh, this option one is uh, all our three characters here if i if i my mo if i keep here that will my nose will look like a uh, copper and what is guy's name brian so if i if i keep here my nose look like a uh, brian and it's look like other guy or you can you know blend in between copper and uh, oil and you can blend between copper and brian or in between you know average of all these three guys so this is how a uh, blend works you know it's really good stuff and even all the points you can select the characters how you want uh, you know very powerful uh, stuff all right so once you are happy with the shape what are you going to do um, next another um, uh, tools are like like a skin you can change the skin uh, texture skin color a little bit dark or any can change into white or black one more somewhere somewhere here fine so you can play with it you can change the textures maybe it will give some uh, old texture random textures like uh, you know you can see okay we we'll keep this one let's look a little more what is that uh yes i like this one all right let's keep it that you can have some contrast you know and you can say roughness reduce the roughness you can see some shiny is going on here so that's your roughness you can see here no? so that is roughness all right so now i'm happy with the shape of the character right now so what i going to do is i want to change some haircut now first is eyes okay we'll see hi what all the eyes we have i'll keep something like that we'll see whether it's a changing or not maybe in blue yes yeah, changing there so which one is better i think i like blue eyes so let's keep that looking uh, handsome now and we'll see teeth right where is your teeth yes teeth. um tooth color you can change it white black i put white for now and gum color uh, you can change to any color you want i put this one fine and some you know black what is that all right so that is the teeth i will do some makeups so mainly uh, the makeup for uh, you know uh, for girls and uh, but this guy there is no no need to be makeups it will, it will look ugly so no need that makeups so if you have girls you can go for all this kind of you know makeups so we'll go for next one is a hair take head and uh, we have a bald so you can see this guy uh, doesn't have any hair bald complete bald and this hair all right so not bad all right so i think this looks good or maybe this this will look funny <laughs> not good and this will look even more worse all right so let it load oh it's good all right so i would say we'll go for um the small shortcut i mean short hair all right so that is fine so uh now we'll go for eyebrows where is eyebrows where is eyebrow? wait all right so now you can select which eyebrow you want you know small bigger thicker all right so we'll, i'll keep this one a little bit harsh and uh, we have eyelash here again this eyelash is mainly for some of them are for girls so it's no need and we have mustache mustache we'll go for some mustache mm, not bad and we go for beard which one we like 
All right, so so I'll make this character. This is my character. It's looking really good. See how uh, yeah, realistic it is. Even if you zoom, so you look at these uh, small, 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 you know, what's uh, the uh, hair and first small hairs, so the white one. It's very, very realistic. So, like, see the detail here on the nose. It's amazing, brilliant work, brilliant work. So, all right, so um, that's it. Uh, we created the character now. And, uh, yeah, we have some more things re uh, remaining. So body, we'll go to the type. We'll make this guy fat, fat body, or maybe slim. So the first first column is for girls, and second one is like uh, you know, uh, for boys. And we have short people, like a short, and you can see uh, the short. And if it's uh, average, and it's a tall, or it's very tall. So we'll go for average and medium. So we have uh, tops. Uh, you can you know, select any tops you want, t-shirts, whatever, whatever you want. This is fine. I'll go for this look good. And bottoms, you have pan. You can have trousers. You can have this one. But for the shirt, I think this pan is good. And shoes, you can select shoes. I go for uh, maybe uh, this shoe. All right, so so from top to bottom, we finished our character. We finished the shoes, clothes, hair, and textures, eyes, mustache, beard, whatever, so skin texture, and so on. So, <clears throat> and we have LODs here. We have zero, one to seven LODs. We have, and uh, we have. Uh, this is all like uh, you know uh, rendering uh, stuff. We have studios, studio lights, indoor lights, and uh, you have uh, some, you know, different, different type of, uh, this is just for the uh, visually how it will look, it's for that. So that's all about, uh, it's very, very simple, and we've created a character here. So uh, once go back to my home button here, it, I'll show you where it will be, our character. Um, let it load. So when you, uh, the it was here before, I will show you that one. So it was here and when you go to my meta humans, one second, it's a little hang. Uh, so our new character, Miles, uh, will be in uh, my meta human category because this is something you created. See, I have created uh, all these characters before. All right, so this is a uh, um, our character. So um, yeah, so it is in uh, my meta human folder. Where you will get this character? That's uh, some of the guys are this kind of doubts where I'll get my meta human character because I created already. So it will be in our uh, Quixel bridge. Just minimize this one. Just open the Quixel bridge, and. Uh, so these are the meta human presets okay so this is the pixel bridge window i think i hope you will know pixel bridge you can if you go home you will get all the textures you can export the textures you know props mega scans there you'll get option like a meta humans usually they'll give you around 50 58 if i'm sure uh, if i'm correct it's a 58 character or something like that so this is all the free characters already there in the meta human uh, uh you know creator it will be in our uh Quixel bridge so there you will uh, you will get uh, one more option there my meta humans when you click that the meta this all the my meta humans which you have seen uh, from meta human creator so this is a new one newly we created this meta human so what are you gonna do you can see the download button here it will download from our meta i mean our uh, creator to our uh, pixel bridge so we're gonna download this one okay just click download it will take a while uh, for me it depends on your internet connection and everything um, I will I'll, I'll show you after once it's get downloaded okay all right all right guys our downloading has been finished so now you'll get a export option here so before uh, exporting you just uh, check uh, your export settings 
and you have to make sure it's going to Unreal Engine. You can set default project if you want to. Textures here, models, LODs, these all things will be getting uploaded and uh, exported into Unreal Engine. So, uh, so before you export, just make sure uh, some of your Unreal Engine's open background so it will get exported into that project. So, I have opened one demo project for now. So uh, now just matter of uh, click export button, it will be exporting to uh, Unreal Engine. So basically the exporting will work very fast. Now you can say exported successfully. The downloading is pretty slow. Uh, it depends on that connection and everything on. So now you go uh, open uh, Unreal Engine and you can see uh, so basically in the content folder it will create uh, uh, automatically will create another folder called meta humans and inside that you have the character name so this one the post one which i exported uh, uh, which i exported before and uh, this is one we did right now miles is our character name so in content meta humans our character name one folder is there just click that and you can see inside all separate folders for that characters and you, there is one blueprint for you and uh, everything set up for the blueprint and you can see the materials and all these materials you can see um, shirt material and um, female hair that's a hair for female and male it's a groom setup and uh, yeah that's it you just have to use the blueprint and we'll see it's a you can see the head mesh there the static mesh um you can see all the uh the quality of the character that's your um static mesh you know head and you can see all the blend shapes you can it's very really slightly uh, more the one shape it work with the animations so basically um basically you just have to use the blueprint and you can get the body also uh, for like a static mesh you can see the body uh, here so that is your body the body will be like uh, right now we have a costume so it just the body will be like a uh, hands and legs so it just use a blueprint just drag it into your scene so yeah that's it your character is there ready for animations ready for the facial uh, animation capture using mocap rococo suit and you can have iphone for uh, you know talking to these guys so it's pretty cool and very really realistic character so that's it guys today we uh, have learned how to create meta humans and how to export into your, our unreal projects so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, we'll discuss how to uh, sculpt the meta human and we'll discuss how to change the textures like the custom textures and so on so we'll figure that out in the coming videos so i hope you will enjoy this video and uh, uh, please uh, comment below and please upload your characters uh, uh, screenshot if you have created okay that's it guys see you next time bye Oh, 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 oh,